Podcast. You're listening to the Cat Cast, a weekly podcast from the staff you love to listen to each weekday on 94.3 Cat Country. Killian Hart and Jordan J. Now here they are talking about life, love, and everything mid-Missouri. And we're back with another podcast this week, since it's kind of timely. We're mm-hmm. talking everything 4th of July. So whether that's fireworks, whether that's just fun times, whether it's barbecues, whatever you like to do on 4th of July. Fireworks, food festivities. Yes, yes. And this is all where the I say, things. What are you all, What are you all going to be doing for the 4th of July? Uh, you know, maybe heading downtown. Uh, my brother's band is playing in the beer garden here in Jefferson City around 5. Shout uh, out to those guys. That's right. A little <laughs> shout out to those guys. Uh, Clint and Harrison. Yes. Well, I was going to say my brother. Those and, guys. And <laughs> his buddy Harrison. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of not like our big plans, but that's mm. one of the things that we'll be doing. But got to fire up the grill, too. Yes. Got Ooh. to. You got a grill on 4th of July. That's like a staple. If you don't have like some sort of barbecue right. going, it's like, is it even 4th of July? You know Pork steak, baked <laughs> yes. beans, uh. corn on the cob, all the good stuff. Yum. Yeah. Yum. What about you, Kevin? Really not a single thing hanging out. We'll probably cook out and that's, that's about it. You man. don't got no fireworks, nothing like that you're going to launch we, off? We may. I mean, if we can find some local fireworks, but you know, I mean... Maybe maybe the grand probably the grand it's it's four days off so I, I'm almost guaranteed the grandkids are going to be over Ooh, at some yes. point yeah yeah no hundred percent so, yeah that has to be the case right yeah do you yeah. have a favorite firework I was going to yes. ask that too yes like I so do I so do I like uh, but I don't I'll, I'll, you tell yours first okay artillery <laughs> shells I am ashamed to say I was well into my thirties before I discovered what artillery shells were and if you're not familiar. Uh, sometimes they have single shots or double shots or triple shots, and it's like the big ones. You you drop this giant ball into a tube, and it shoots up, <laughs> and, you know, oh, yeah. sometimes they whistle. Usually they don't, but they explode into giant, glorious color. It's like color. Civil War artillery, you know? <laughs> oh, it my really gosh. kind of like is, yeah. you know? And you know that they're going to be the big ones yes. when you hear them, like, flaunch out of that tube, when it goes like... You're like, ooh, and yeah. it like goes way up in the sky. You're like, that's the big one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, can you imagine if somebody was here from like 150 years ago and they're watching her, my God, the citizens have weapons now. <laughs> yeah. I, hands down, I mean, that's been my favorite because the colors are vibrant. Yeah. You know, they're large. Uh, you know, before that, I mean, as kids, we just had, you know, bottle rockets. Oh, bottle and, rockets. You know, yeah. black cat firecrackers yeah. and, you know, sparklers. You know, those I think, little- I think what we consider big ones was like roman candles oh yeah Yeah, so here as an adult when i actually had a little bit of disposable money to go and you know blow stuff up Mm -hmm. uh yeah artillery shells i was like what are these yeah yeah my favorite ever since erin is knows all about fireworks because i'll tell you i have been with her to fireworks places like she'll be the one walking up with like two hundred dollars worth of like bombs and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. My, my favorite as a kid <laughs> used to be those little jumping jacks. You know what I'm talking about? It's like the the, the fuse on the thing was like half a second. You yeah. light it and it like immediately went off. But like it spun around and like shot up and like went all over the place. Well, the important thing with fireworks is be careful with it because nobody wants to be known as stumpy. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the last thing. That's You're right. holding on to it too long. You know, <laughs> let it go, let it go. So my one of my best friends, uh, her daughter, when she was little, she always loved the pooping puppy that was not around when i was a nice, kid nice nice it was like this little cardboard dog now you're talking my language and the dog <laughs> the the back had like wheels so it looked like the dog was it's like walking. walking yeah and then of course <laughs> and then all of a sudden then all of a sudden uh ash would come out of its hiney <laughs> so it was the it was the pooping puppy and i mean that was like her all time uh, that's favorite. a firework and, Let me tell you. and like, like one the year, snake like the little snake yeah, like i kind of know what you're talking yeah. about so you know her mom was like oh my gosh you know i can't find this thing you know so i remember picking them up um from i think they had like dance class or something yeah and you know well what are we gonna do today and i'm like all right your mom said that we <laughs> could go find pooping puppies and they're like yay <laughs> In the back seat, and I think we went to like four or five different fireworks stands in town before we found them. <laughs> if, if you've got a fairly large party that wants to go see fireworks, yeah, 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 I'll tell you the best thing in the world to own is a pickup truck because you don't have to worry about you know, okay, let's seat everybody here. So like everybody just sit in the back of the truck. We no did that chiggers, few, which did, is yeah, awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yes. We did that you know? a few years ago when. when uh, actually, at the time, I only had the one grandson. He's six now, but he was like maybe three. 
And he's sitting in the back of Grandpa's truck, and we're watching the fireworks. He just thought it was magical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, there you go. You know, I, yeah. my, I think my favorite, like, of the big fireworks are the. I like the artillery ones too, but I like the ones that, like, <clears throat> when they explode, they either like they almost like flower out. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, they, they, yeah. they linger yeah. there for a minute, yes. and kind of like they almost like a raindrop kind of effect. You know, it's mm-hmm. like cool looking and. A place that can sync the music that in with the fireworks. That's cool. That's magical. And those other ones that like twinkle, that, they look like stars yeah. like flashing, you know, those ones do. So, like so light. music, you know, being synced up, that's not like a, a half to for me. You know, yeah. I can still enjoy a fireworks show if there's no music synced. I mean, um, that just kind of adds an extra element mm-hmm. of fun, you know, but there's just something about hanging out with your friends and your family. Yes. And, you know, thinking about the country you love and watching these amazing displays. You'll, you'll still ooh and ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. our soundtrack. Ooh. You know, it makes ah. you think, too, like, when, especially when you're hearing all the fireworks go off around you and stuff, mm-hmm. what it's actually, like, what it was like during the war. You know what I mean? Like, because you hear yeah. all that and how loud it was. Like, imagine real explosions and all well, this and not being, like, well, yeah. joyous, and being, you, like, you bring terrified. Up a good you point, know? actually, Jordan, because, and, and this is this is our public service announcement part of this okay mm-hmm. if you have dogs yes. dogs for yes. the most part there's some that don't mind it that are maybe a little more used to it or whatever I, I, been I desensitized lucky. to for it for whatever reason but mine are cool with it if you have dogs please put them in a place where they can feel protected whether it's a thunder uh jacket whether mm-hmm. it's in a room far away from mm-hmm. where the noise is it's it drives it's very, very frightening to them. And I know people, well, it's only once a year. We just ought to have fun. I know. I get it. And have fun. But know that it's terrifying. It can be terrifying to well, your dog. Because they don't well, know what's going on, right? Yeah, to them, right. it is also, bombs going off, right? Nine times out of ten, it's not just one night a year. It's the weeks leading Memorial up. Memorial Day. Then, and it's, then yeah, it's, I know. you know, a couple days afterwards where everybody's getting the really good deals on all the yeah. fireworks and, like, every yeah. night. That's so, I mean, I know that happens it? in our neighborhood. It'll be like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, you know what? How would you like it if I got up at 2.45 yeah. to go to work and I have a big old fireworks display first? I know. Well, you know what's I funny? Know. You'd be ticked. People buy their fireworks and they do get really, like, I can't wait till July 4th. You oh, know, yeah. So it's like June 28th. And, yeah, you know, and yeah. It's like, bang. It's like, dude, yeah. slow your roll. I know, okay? I know. Well, I remember as kids, you know, we would like beg dad, dad, please. Get, and he's like, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. You're not gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. We don't care. And we're like, oh yes, we will. Come on. And he's just like, no, you won't. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's yeah, like, it's not pack- fair. Yeah, there's no package fair. of black cats. Till, yeah. it's, only dark. It's, it's dark till you have to wait till nine o'clock at night. That's yeah. not fair. See, that, that's when. That's when it was like we get all the pretty nighttime fireworks, and then they're like, all right, here's all the loud fireworks. Yeah. You can launch those off during the day. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah, like the M80s is a little, <laughs> and look. And another had, one that has a short fuse, right? When you were real little, you were able to use those little. Corn cob things, you know what I'm talking about? The mm-hmm. little sticks. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where they just go, and you're like, woo. So, <laughs> one of those it, little sparklers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, in our family, you know, I think mom kind of appeased us kids by going, okay, you know, it's time when you start seeing the fireflies. When you can see the fireflies, you, you can see, see, the you fire. see them glow. Mm-hmm. They're having your you fireworks see, already. Yeah, see? then you can see the fireworks. So, I mean, I remember it'd be like, again, four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Mom, I just saw one. It was just right over there. And she's like, no. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't. No, you didn't. Not <laughs> it. You're lying, Aaron. You're lying. <laughs> and then it's always the worst being a kid, too, and you're like, I want fireworks. You're yeah. like, all right, when it gets dark. It doesn't get dark till like 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah you're exactly. like, it's late enough. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to be going to bed soon. You know? yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what's your, then here's, the, what's, what is your barbecue staple, your 4th of July must-have? Ooh, we talking dessert? We talking mains? I'm talking mains. Pork steak. Gotta have pork steak. Gotta have pork steak? Yes. Grilled corn on the cob. Ooh, see, that was gonna be... Corn mm. on the cob for mm-hmm. me is just... Because, yeah. like, like, summertime, man, you know, the yeah. corn's, like, great. That, and then, like, as a side, too, for me, like, I love potato salad. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge potato salad fan. But also, watermelon season. Yes. Oh, a yes. good... Beautiful yeah. ruby red watermelon. And, uh-huh. is. I know some people don't like the whole like taking the the big wedge of oh you know, and just destroying. Wow. Oh, I like, love doing that. And that's that. okay like that. But I will tell you, my wife and part of it is a neatness thing for the kids. 
She she will chop it up into oh, little yeah. cubes, a cube, like mm-hmm. cubes, and that's, that's, a, that's a good way to eat because you it can is. just sit there then and like just reach oh. into the bag and oh, eat yeah. like I that too. I can't tell you how many we you know we get like the humongous like Tupperware container, yeah, and yeah. of that's watermelon. The way to do it. We get like two watermelon we cut up in there. Mm-hmm. It yeah. lasts <laughs> maybe two days around the house. <laughs> Everyone destroys it. Like watermelon, it's just like it's so good, right? Okay, like, so so next big question then. Salt or no salt on your watermelon? See, my oh, dad, no. my dad salts his watermelon. Your dad and I are I've, probably about the same age. I've never heard of that in my watermelon. life. Yes. My dad salts his watermelon. He puts uh-huh. he puts salt on his cucumbers. He puts salt on his tomatoes. See, he loves it. I, I don't get that. Now I will tell you. Anybody that knows me. You you guys have never seen me actually salt something. Like I have. I don't salt, think I have. I never. Ha- I don't do it. It's like. That's because your body has so much salt in it from the <laughs> so process. Sodium, exactly. <laughs> it just it salts no it while it's in your belly. Exactly. It's like, mm, we'll already salt this up for yeah. you. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. I'll eat watermelon without salt, but yeah. I love it yeah. with salt. It's, I, I see that. It's got like a sweet, it's like, savory it's thing. It's like it kind of enhances the flavor. Of Does like it a little bit? I've never heard something. of that in my life. Isn't that weird? Man. Must be I a, just love how juicy and delicious water. Watermelon is probably one of my thing. favorite fruits. Like mm-hmm. watermelon, pineapple, apples are like the best. Okay, so I mean, we were kind of talking pineapple? about this. It's, no. Okay. okay. As far as like you know, desserts for Fourth of July, yes, it's got to be uh, watermelon. I mean, we always did that as kids and stuff, and I still do it now as an adult. But uh, grilling peaches, fresh peaches, and then um, grilling fresh rings of pineapple. And then, you know, you sprinkle a little brown sugar on there and it caramelizes on the mm-hmm. grill and then yeah. like a scoop of ice cream on that. Ooh. Well, we're now into the season where the peaches are good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, like yes. A lot of times you got to wait till you get California peaches or Florida or right. whatever, you know. But I think we're we're now into the season where we're starting to get the really good sweet stuff like oh, yeah. Georgia or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Georgia peaches. Oh. Yeah, next yeah. level. Mm. That's great stuff, man. And you know what's interesting? If you have, I mean, generally speaking, fruit, the larger it is, there are exceptions, but the larger it is, the less sweet it is. I've heard that. You know what and I mean? I've experienced that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Because you might think, oh, this is really big and sweet. And not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I've, I've been disappointed by large and disappointed by small. I mean, just sometimes you never know, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, grapefruit. That's good, too, by the way. I, I'm just, like, I'm just getting hungry now. We're just talking about fruits. <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, you're 65 years old. Is it breakfast time all of a sudden? We changed topics? We changed topics. You want to bring a grapefruit into Jordan. (laughs) You want oatmeal and an English muffin on the side? Yeah. Yeah. Grapefruit over here. Grapefruit, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. I no, I do like grapefruit. I, I no, do. but wait, it's just, it's just that time. I'm thinking of like, you know, I've already had some watermelon a couple times already, mm-hmm. so. Tis the season. Mm-hmm. Tis the season yeah. for that, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. But yeah, no, I'm, I I think for, for at least for the fourth, we kind of celebrated a little earlier last week, but um, we're thinking about taking the kids to the zoo, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Which, surprisingly, they're open. Like, the zoo, both, I think, St. Louis and Kansas City are open. Do so. you want to know a fun little fact about July 4th, 1776? You know yeah. that picture we've seen of all the delegates gathered in Independence oh, yeah. Hall in Philadelphia? Did that it not happen? That is a complete lie. They did not all gather together there like that. What happened was, yes, July fourth, seventeen seventy six. Okay, it was, it was, <clears throat> like it, that's the the date of the document. Mm-hmm. But they had to travel, mm-hmm. and you got to remember this is the late eighteenth century. Yeah, they had yeah. to travel from all the other colonies, so they weren't all there at the same, same time. They, time. they right. would arrive at a certain time and then sign it, and the, et cetera, et cetera. You know, that makes sense. And one more thing, John Hancock obviously had the largest signature. Do you know why he had the largest signature? How come? Because he says he wanted King George to definitely see his on there. <laughs> wow. I remember that. I We're breaking that away, fact. suckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, so, we got our own country yeah. now, baby. So what you're saying is like, if Benjamin Franklin or somebody else would have signed it larger, we want to be calling it sign your Ben Franklin instead of your John Hancock. Yeah, right, yeah. Give, your give ben me your Ben Franklin. Franklin, you know. John oh. Hancock says the smallest signature in a different you, universe. You know what's funny? <laughs> I have a number of friends in England, and, and not Ireland, but like in England, and they'll say to me, come this time of year hey by the way um, happy fourth of july and i'm like that's like an awkward <laughs> you know wish because well yeah we rebelled <laughs> we, against we you defected from, <laughs> from your country but i get you know? it it's, it's been long enough now i think we're okay <laughs> listen, you know? listen, and you're yeah. and you're a staunch ally of ours. I, yeah, it's okay we say, love you the, the you united know? states and britain we yeah. love each other we now, do man you know, it's, you know? It's we had history. yeah it's, it's all swept we're like the rug. we're like brothers who beat each other yeah. up when we were kids and then when we're older it's like okay yeah we get it you're like but i loved you the entire time 
right, you exactly, know? <laughs> exactly. So, well, as you celebrate Fourth of July, uh, share your traditions with us. What do you like to eat? What do you do? Share with us. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. You can send us an email, catcountry at mailzimmer.com. Or you can always message us on Facebook, Instagram, all the things. Exactly. Everything. Anywhere that we're at. And whether you're watching this or viewing this, or whether you're watching this or hearing this, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button if you see yes. it. Subscribe button's got to be up here or down here somewhere. Especially it's, if you're on the YouTube. <laughs> we could here. use another yeah. subscriber. We really need YouTube subscribers. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. Yeah, it's, it's, pathetic. Really, it's really <laughs> sad, it's man. It's shameless plug. However, subscribe. we love all 54 of you, so thank you <laughs> exactly. for subscribing. And maybe by the it. time this hits, it'll be 55. You never know. <laughs> Dreaming big! <laughs> thank you for catching this edition of the Cat Country Catcast. You've been listening to the Catcast, your weekly dose of fun from the staff you know and love on 94.3 Cat Country. Click subscribe and never miss an episode. Share it on social media and tell your friends with 94.3 Cat Country.